subscribe to Nika TV and press the bell icon to make sure you never miss an update from us. Our markets these days are filled with fake products and it gets really difficult in identifying what is real and what is fake. Hi guys, I'm Shreya Jain and today I'm going to share with you some simple and easy ways by which you can make out if a product is real or fake. It is really important to know if a product is real or fake because A, you can end up spending the same amount of money on a fake product. B, because it's pretty unsafe for your skin. You're using harsh chemicals which are not produced in the similar way a real product would be manufactured for your skin. So we must know if you're using a fake or a real product as our face is pretty delicate. The first product I want to talk about is a product which has a lot of fakes in the market. I'm talking about one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes that is the Rose Gold palette from Huda Beauty. You can see how beautiful the colors are in this palette and of course as I said there are a lot of fakes available in the market. Sometimes it's really easy to make out if a product is original or not. In this case you can see the shades are different. In the original Huda Beauty palette you have some foiled eyeshadows which are very chunky and glittery in nature. But in the fake palette, these shadows are just normal shimmery shadows, so they're pretty different from how the Huda Beauty palette looks like. When talking about the text and the placement of the text, you can see on the upper part of the palette how the text is placed differently. The way textured eyeshadow palette is written is completely different from the original and the fake. Another major difference in the packaging is that the plastic of the original one is pretty hard so you can like actually crackle upon it but the packaging on the fake one is pretty flimsy the plastic is pretty flimsy and you know like it feels very cheap in the making but the original palette feels like it's made really nicely I'm going to swatch a couple of eyeshadows so you can actually see the difference in the texture as well. The color rose gold as well as trust fund are the ones that you'll be able to see the most amount of difference in. These are beautiful foiled pigments so I'm just going in twice with each of the color. And once you swatch them you'll see that they have that beautiful foiled effect to them which is so stunning on the eyelids. But the eyeshadow in the fake one are just normal shimmery eyeshadows. So I'm just going to go in rose gold as well as trust fund from the fake eyeshadow palette and you'll see there's a huge difference in the way these colors perform you see that difference next up i'm going to talk about the huda beauty liquid matte lipsticks these are a favorite formula of a lot of people and hence we also have a lot of fakes in the market now when you see these two in comparison you can clearly see a difference in the packaging the original one has a frosted glass effect to it while the fake one has a clear packaging which is not actually available by huda herself so you can clearly make out which is the original one and which is the fake one then when you look at the bottom part there's also a sticker which indicates the shade name but for the fake one there is nothing to indicate the shade name on the bottom Another difference in the packaging is that when you run your finger on the print you can actually feel rough edges but on the original one you don't feel anything of that sort it's pretty smooth A major difference in the formulation is that the original Huda Beauty liquid mattes have a hint of vanilla in it a very small hint of vanilla in it but the fake ones actually smell pretty chemical chocolatey like they have a chemical chocolatey fragrance to them which is not at all pleasing Let's just quickly swatch them as well and see the difference in the texture when applied on the skin So when you apply the Huda Beauty liquid matte they go on pretty smoothly and they're pigmented like you can see and they dry down to a nice matte finish. And when you're swatching the fake Huda Beauty one they definitely have a thicker consistency than the original Huda Beauty. Let's wait for them to dry down. And once they dry you can see the original Huda Beauty formulation looks smooth and even while the fake Huda Beauty has a definite patchy finish to it. Next up comes a slightly more technical part in figuring out a product and its authenticity. You can always check the ingredients. Any brand will mention all of the ingredients on their website as well. So just check the ingredients on the back of your packaging as well. I have this original as well as fake NYX palette with me right here and when you check the back of these two the ingredients are completely different. So you know which one is original. original and which one is fake easily if you read the ingredients another very easy way to check out if a product is fake or not is by checking the brand's website and seeing if the product is even existing or not for example i have this fake revlon sponge right here revlon never even made sponges so this is a definite fake out here and sometimes the packaging gives it away a little too easily for example we have the maybelline lasting drama gel liner right here and this is what the original packaging looks like and when i see the fake packaging This is what I have. So you can easily make out which is the real one and which is the fake one. Make sure you follow brands on Instagram, see what new products they're coming out with, check if they're changing their packaging or you can also log on to their website and sign up for newsletters so that you get every single news in your mail as soon as a new product is launched or a packaging is changed and you do not end up buying a fake product in the name of a real product. Seeing fonts is equally important as seeing the packaging because sometimes the packaging might look similar but the fonts will totally give it away. For example, 
example, I have the Lakme iconic kajals with me. You can see how different the fonts and the placement of the text is. For example, we have iconic written here in a different text altogether. This is the original one. And in the fake one, iconic is written in a completely different font. Also, when you flip around the fake one, you can see the text is placed differently. It's pretty squished together, while in the original one, it's pretty spaced out and easy to read. Also, when you see Lakme's logo, the accent on the E is slanted properly in the original one, while in the fake one, it's just flat and there and not slanted properly. Sometimes the packaging alone cannot tell you if a product is real or not. For example, I have a made luminizer by the balm here and the packaging is pretty similar on the original and the fake one. But what you need to do in such situations is actually see the product in itself and try and swatch it out. Here I have the fake Mary Luminizer and here I have the original Mary Luminizer. There is a ton of difference in the colors. Now another helpful tip would be to carry photographs of swatches if you are going to be shopping in a physical store. You can check out different swatches on different skin tones. Take a screenshot of the swatches and when you are going to be buying the product, just compare the swatches to the swatch on your own arm. I'm going to quickly swatch the fake and the original one side by side for you to show you a difference. The fake one is definitely way more orangey and feels powdery and not buttery at all. It has very chalky effect effect to it, while the original one is buttery soft and one of my favourites. When you look at them together, there is a huge difference and when you swatch them, the fake one doesn't have any amount of glow, while the original one is a beaming light. If you think only high and more expensive brands have their fake counterparts, you're wrong. Here I have a fake for Miss Claire. Miss Claire is already affordable but there are definite fakes of Miss Claire in the market as well. I'll share with you how you can make out a difference between the original and the fake one. Starting with the packaging itself, the packaging of the Miss Claire Shimmer Brick set is way more sturdy and well made. While the packaging of the fake Miss Claire is pretty flimsy and you can feel that the plastic can snap out any time. Secondly, when you look at the back side of the product, you can see a clear difference in the font and the way it's written and the text and the spacing out as well. When you're buying online, make sure you buy from a website which is authorized reseller. Do not buy from a third party whose authenticity you're not sure of. Or even if you're buying from store, make sure you buy from the brand directly or from an authorized reseller. Make sure you check out swatches online of the product so you know what you are expecting from a product. Read reviews. Reviews always help because you get to know what a product will offer you. Again, make sure that you check all of the ingredients when you are buying a product. Go on the brand pages, check what all the ingredients and how they are mentioned. The order in which ingredients are mentioned also is very important because it does change up the formulation. So if you see the same names on a product but the order is different, you should be warned about not buying it. Thinking that affordable products won't have a fake counterpart is one of the biggest mistakes you can do. There is a fake for everything and anything available in the market. Make sure your research is on point and you know what you want to get and you do not end up buying anything that a shopkeeper offers you. There are a lot of other pointers which other people might tell you but they might not always be true. That is scanning the barcode because barcodes can be easily replicated. Then secondly, just checking the packaging. A lot of times packaging can be duplicated very easily. So do not go just on the packaging but see other things as well. A lot of fake shops might tell you that the products they have are meant for a different country, they've been illegally smuggled into the country, blah blah blah. Do not fall for that. I hope this video helps you to identify a fake product from an original one. If you've ever bought a fake product and realized it's not authentic, then make sure you share a photo with us down in the comments section. It will help all of us out in figuring out real from the fake. I will see you guys super soon, but till then, don't forget to like and share this video. Also, subscribe to Nika TV for more such helpful videos. Bye!